Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm filming five dinners that we ate this week. And let me just start off with this recipe. Oh my goodness, it was such a hit with my family. And it's so easy and so delicious. All you need is a pork loin, one package of ranch seasoning mix, and two cans of cream of chicken soup. That's it, and you stick it in your crock pot and then you're done. It's so good. And all my recipes that I will do in this video will be down in the description box below. I would love it if you could check it out. I'm going to start off by cutting my loin into thicker slices and then using the other half I'm going to um, probably wrap it up and put it in the freezer for a later use. And I'm sorry about the angle of this video y'all. I am still learning how to do the tripod and figure out which angle looks best so I apologize. Alright, so now the pork chops have been cut, I'm going to go ahead and add my ingredients. I'm going to first start off with the cream of chicken soup, both cans, and then once both cans are on there, I like to go ahead and spread it all over the pork chops just so that they're all covered. And then I'm going to add my ranch seasoning packet, and then pop the lid on it, and then you are done. It's really easy. To go along with the pork chops, I just have some little baby potatoes. I wash them really well, and now I'm going to pat them dry with a paper towel. And now that those are done um, drying, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these in half. I have a lot of potatoes because we all really like them really well. Even my kids like to eat them and it's just so good and so flavorful and really they go with pretty much anything. Once they're all cut, I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil in a bowl and I'm going to give it a good shake to make sure that the potatoes are all the way covered. And then I'm just going to put them on a lined baking pan and stick them in the oven at 400 degrees with for about 30 minutes. And before I stick them on the oven, I'm going to go ahead and put some seasoning on it and it is my tried and true. We use it for everything. It's all Greek seasoning. I'll show you guys here in a minute. And it is the best stuff ever. I put it on potatoes. I put it on um, vegetables. And this stuff is the bomb. I'm telling you, it is so delicious. And I believe that we got it from Walmart. We just stocked up so much. So um, if you guys go to Walmart, go ahead and give this, guys, give this a try. Because it is so, 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 so good. I felt like doing some rolls for tonight's dinner and I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer for a little bit just to get some nice brown and crispy and I'm just going to use some of my can't believe it's not spray butter on top of it just to get that nice extra touch. You guys, these potatoes are so good, and they're just nice and crunchy, and my husband always loves to come over and steal a few before I make his plate. Alrighty, so tonight's dinner is done. We're having ranch pork chops from the crock pot. Um, this is, we are a family of four. It's me, my husband, and my two daughters. So this is my husband's plate. This is my plate. This is my oldest daughter's plate, who's six. This is my youngest daughter's plate, who is 20 months. I'm excited. It looks so good. Alrighty y'all, dinner number two, it's another easy one. This is my six year old favorites. All you need is a jar of grape jelly, home style meatballs, make sure you get home style, and then a jar of chili sauce. So, so easy and so delicious. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the meatballs. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove on and then I'm gonna grab uh, the jar of grape jelly and then grab the jar of chili sauce. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that into my pan and just give it a nice stir and make sure it gets to a boil and make sure it's all one consistency. You want it to be all liquid. You don't want to have any jelly clumps or anything. You want to make sure it's all smooth before you pour it over the meatballs because um, the smoother the better is what I say. It goes into the crock pot anyways, but it just needs to be liquid before you pour it over the meatballs. But y'all, this stuff is always a hit when I take it to family gatherings and my family loves it and it's so easy and inexpensive to make and it's just so delicious. And I have a hard time scooping out this jelly. I don't know why, I just am today. And I just crack myself up by editing this video, realizing that I'm having a hard time scraping out the grape jelly. Do y'all ever have any problems in the kitchen? Please comment down below.
while my sauce was cooking and getting all liquefied, I just put my meatballs in the crock pot and once my sauce was done and completely liquefied, I just went ahead and poured the sauce all over the meatballs. You guys, this recipe is literally so easy and so quick. It literally took me less than 15 minutes to make. If you've never heard of grape jelly meatballs, there's different ways to make it with grape jelly. Um, some people use ketchup and grape jelly, but I've always used chili sauce and grape jelly, and it's inexpensive. I just went ahead and popped the lid on and put it on low for three to four hours until the meatballs are all the way cooked through. And this is just so easy and quick and delicious. If you want to see the recipe that I use, it'll be down in the description box below. This night for dinner, it was just me and my six-year-old eating. My youngest daughter already had a peanut butter sandwich and my husband was working late. But as always, these were so yummy and delicious. The next night, I just made spaghetti. It's one of our favorites and it's inexpensive and it goes a long way for our family. So the seasonings I used are the tomato basil garlic sauce for the sauce, one pound of hamburger spaghetti noodles, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. To ground the beef. I'm going to go ahead and start browning my hamburger and then adding all the seasonings, the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. I believe it's so important to flavor your hamburger for the spaghetti. It really makes such a big difference. I'm using a tomato basil sauce from Walmart, it's a great value brand, and I'm just adding a little bit of water to the jar to just get all the extra sauce out to make sure I get every last drop to add into the pan. Once my hamburger is done and my sauce has been cooking for a little while, I'm just going to add our hamburger to the sauce. And with the hamburger already being seasoned, this tastes really well. Now with the noodles almost being done, I'm just going to go ahead and pop these garlic knots in that we got from Sam's. They are $5.99 and you get 24 of them. And y'all, these are so huge and they're so good. Look how good these look. Go ahead and check them out at Sam's, $5.99. Now that my stuff is all done, I'm going to go ahead and add the sauce to the spaghetti noodles. And we liked all of our stuff mixed together. That's just how my family likes it instead of having just the sauce on top of the noodles. And now it'll be time to eat. Alrighty, so the spaghetti is done. It's just simple spaghetti. Looks delicious with the garlic knots. This is my husband's plate. This is my plate. This is my oldest daughter's plate and this is my youngest daughter's plate yum yum the next night I just did did a smoked sausage and potato recipe that I watched from a YouTube video it was good um I would do definitely do it again but next time I would add more seasonings and I honestly forgot to add the water but I don't think it made that much of a difference on the water but definitely add more seasonings next time Hey guys, it's dinner time and it's all done. This is what it looks like. Um, this is my husband's plate. This is my plate. This is my oldest daughter's plate. And this is my youngest daughter's plate. Um, I did forget to put water in it by accident. Um, but it tasted okay. Um, but I did forget to put water in it. Like a goofball, but that's okay. So, it's time to eat. The last thing I'm going to be making for dinner is a chicken and gravy that's in the crock pot. All you need is about a pound of chicken, um, a can of cream of chicken soup, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, pepper, and two cups of water, and two packets of chicken and gravy mix. And this is so good. In the end, it doesn't look appetizing, but trust me, it is delicious. 
I'm going to be adding my ingredients. And the last thing I'm going to add is two cups of water. Now I've done, I've made this before where I've added two cups of water, where I've added one cup of water. With two cups of water, it is more liquefied. And with less cups of water, it's more thicker. To go along with the chicken and gravy over stuffing, I'm going to go ahead and make some baked potatoes. I'm just scrub them really well. I'm going to pop them in the microwave on each side for about five minutes each. To go along with the chicken and gravy mix, I'm going to go ahead and make a box of chicken stuffing. Delicious, and now I'm gonna my chicken's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and make it easier and go ahead and use my hand mixer to shred the chicken all up. This saves a whole bunch of time if you have not tried it. Go ahead and give this a try. Okay, dinner is done. It's not the most appetizing thing to look at, but it's really good. I got baked potatoes um, with cheese, hold on, corn, stuffing, and then just a crock pot chicken and gravy. Um, that's my husband's plate. This is my plate because I do not like corn. This is my youngest daughter's plate. And my oldest daughter is having pizza that her youth pastors are dropping by on the front porch since we can't have church service during this whole quarantine, which is super sweet. But yeah, that's what we're having dinner. Alright guys, well that is it for this week's What's For Dinner videos. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more What's For Dinner videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I know that you want to see more What's For Dinner videos. I love cooking. I love being in the kitchen. It's just what I love to do for my family. I love cooking them and making them happy. And it's just in the kitchen is where I feel like we all belong um, as a family. And sitting down at the table and hearing about everybody's day is my, one of my favorite parts as a family. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.